back in early September, I found out all this information and I just, I decided not to talk to you guys about it, but I think, I think it's a time. And oh my God, the lighting sucks. Let's go back here. Where were you on the night of the 20th? Halloween spooky time. As I was saying, back in early September, actually, I think it was like the end of August, my old contact, get in touch with me, send me a bunch of pictures of the Mavic Mini, explain to me that the Mavic Air 2 and the Spark 2 have been put on hold because of new regulations coming out all over the place that you had to be under 250 grams to not have to take tests possibly in the future. And that's something we can get into on a different video. Because of this, DJI had put all their projects on hold. Let me interrupt for a second. This video is going to be speculation, it's going to be rumors, and it's going to be things that were told to me that I'm repeating to you. And the reason I'm making this is because, one, I have a lot of thoughts on this, and two, it's a lot of fun to go back and forth with you guys in the comments below on what you want, what you hope for, and then when the thing is released, we go back and I can say, hey, that was right, that was wrong, that was right, that was wrong, and poof, it's pretty cool. It's a neat thing to do, and that's why we're doing it. If you're not into that, this is the wrong video for you. Go ahead and click that stop button and go watch something else. Maybe maybe go watch that. That might be more your style. Now let's move along, okay? When I first got all this information, I thought about making a video then about the Mavic Mini. The thing was so far away that I just, I never did it. But today, I have to explain to you guys why I personally am not going to get the Mavic Mini at the time of making this video. Does that mean you shouldn't? No, not necessarily. There's a lot of good things about it that might be perfect for yourself. Just for me personally, it's something I'm gonna hold off on because I'm getting the Skydio 2. That's gonna be coming out of my wallet probably in the next few weeks, which is gonna leave me a little tap. So if you've already got this guy and you're on the fence, this video might help clear up what you should do, if it's worth going ahead and getting this other drone, or if you should just keep playing with the Mavic Mini that you are, the Mavic Air that you already have. I'm gonna go over a few of the rumored specs that we can guess about. Since so many different places are leaking so many different bits of information, take everything with a grain of salt. We'll know in a few more days what the real specs are and if it's worth getting for you. Now the Mavic Air has been a really fun drone to fly. I really do like it. The body style of this thing, the, the actual construction of it, the way it feels has grown on me in a way that it is my favorite constructed drone. However, it's lacking certain features that I have on my Mavic Zoom, so I tend to grab the Mavic Zoom 95% of the time when I go out to fly. When I'm hiking, this little guy fits right in your pocket, and that, with a couple of extra batteries, can come in really handy when you're out in the middle of somewhere and you're really trying to minimize your size of your bag that you're carrying with you. Now let's look at a couple pictures. These are a couple of the newer pictures that I've seen. I wanna show you this one in particular. It shows sort of the scale that we should expect with the Mavic Mini. And then this other picture is my hands with the Mavic Air in it. So you can see they're similar in size. It's not a ginormous difference. The big difference in size comes down to weight. Everything rumored with the Mavic Mini is that it's going to be under 250 grams. Rumored anywhere from 245 to 249, just barely getting under that spec to keep you from having to register with the FAA. Now, does that mean you can take this thing and go fly around airports and do whatever the hell you want with it? I guess technically you could. However, you'd be a complete moron if you did go do things like that. Just because you can do something doesn't necessarily mean you should. Please, please use common sense when you're playing with your toys. Now, like the Mavic Air, it's supposed to have bottom sensors and it should have front facing sensors and I'd imagine rear facing sensors. There's a couple pictures leaked where it looks like it might possibly have side sensors like the Mavic Zoom, like the Mavic 2 Pro. Although some are saying those aren't side sensors, but to me it does make sense that they would step it up a, a notch. Why would someone at this point want to continuously buy the next drone if it's missing more and more features? The more safety features put into something, the less the government is gonna step in and mess with you for flying it. My guess is that they probably are side sensors, but we'll see soon. Also like the Mavic Air, 
it has foldable arms, which is another thing that pretty much all the Mavic line of drones has. As I've said over and over with this particular drone, if it just had a little bit more battery time and wasn't a Wi-Fi connection and had the OcuSync 2.0 or a version of OcuSync or hell, even Lightbridge, like the old Phantom 1s through 3 or whichever ones had Lightbridge before the Phantom 4 came around and they had OcuSync. One thing that sort of seems like it's sort of a step backwards to me about the Mavic Mini is that instead of having these props that you just sort of push and take off, it has actual props with screws on them, which is a little weird because that's how all drones were a long time ago. So it's weird to see them going back to something that you actually have to have tools to take on and off. Some of the first competitors to the early Phantoms had screw on props. And I don't mean like screws that screw on, but I mean you actually just screwed the props on. After owning so many of these drones, I gotta tell you, it's very, very rare that I ever need to just pop one off real quick and pop another one back on, that I've ever been in a, a time crunch where I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta get it off and get it back on, go, 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 go. That doesn't seem to happen often, not saying that it can't, but it doesn't seem to happen often to me. So I can't really say if that's gonna be a make or break thing for you. Everything I've seen shows that it's gonna have the same one over two thirds sensor that you see in a lot of the other DJI drones. And that sensor has been pretty good. It, you can get some incredible stuff out of the majority of, well actually out of pretty much everything in the DJI lineup. Supposedly it's gonna have the same 12 megapixel camera and it's going to have the capability of shooting in 2.7K not actually 4K. Some other leaks are saying that it's gonna shoot in 4K, 30 frames a second, 2.7K and 60 frames a second. Honestly, for me, I don't really care because I shoot in 1080 like 90% or more of the time. For me, 4K files bog down my computer when I'm editing. I save all my footage, so now I'm gonna need more and more external hard drives to save all that footage and then more and more to back up that saved footage. 4K cost me a lot more money than 1080 does to be able to produce videos for YouTube. And the thing is, is 80% of my viewers watch on a phone. The other 15% watch on a tablet or a laptop or a computer. And then there's like 5% that watch on a TV that might be able to pull off 4K. I do occasionally put out some really cool 4K stuff, but for the most part, I'm working with 1080. You guys remember when the original Mavic came out? It came out with the regular version in a fly more kit that came with batteries, a charger for those batteries, a cool little carrying case and all that. Supposedly they're gonna continue that tradition with this. And the price points I've seen sort of fluctuate. I've seen people quote that the drone itself is gonna be anywhere from 399 to 450. And then I've seen people quote that the, the little fly more kit could be anywhere from 500 to 575. All of that sounds pretty reasonable to me if it has the majority of the capabilities that we're accustomed to with some of these other drones. One of the most extraordinary rumors I've heard is that a drone this small, this scale, could possibly have up to 30 minutes flight time per battery. That's insane! I think I get somewhere between 11 and 14 minutes right now if I'm lucky on my Mavic Air. Seeing something that size fly for at least twice as long on one battery that I'm flying now, whew, that's pretty incredible. And that alone is gonna make this product desirable for a lot of people. At this time, we aren't actually required to go out and take a test to be a hobbyist, but there are rumors of that coming. Even a 16 year old kid might have to go out and take a test similar to the part 107 before they can play with a little toy drone unless it weighs under this 250 grams. This does come to pass. I might even consider getting one of these myself, but currently my Mavic Air does pretty much everything that this can do except for the flight time. How many of you are actually interested in buying this if you already have a Mavic Air? Let me know in the comments. And really, only if you have a Mavic Air or a Mavic Spark, because this possibly could replace both of those if it sells well enough. I might end up getting one of these in the future, but right now, I have the Skydio on its way in November and I'm gonna be doing some really crazy stuff with that drone and stay tuned because I'm working on a video talking about that. I've been so busy with Vid Summit drone spin up that I haven't had a chance to really sit down and tell you guys my thoughts on the Skydio 2 or the Mavic Mini. Hopefully you guys can still get some information out of this. My buddy over at uh, Tech Drone Media has been putting out video after video on this. He is getting one. Uh, for sure. So if you guys aren't following him, I definitely recommend going to check out his channel if you're interested in the Mavic Mini. Let me know in the comments below 
what your plans are. Mavic Mini, Skydio, are you looking for something new like the Skydio or are you wanting just something smaller that you don't have to register with the FAA? I'm curious, how many of you are hobbyists? How many of you are part 107 down in the bottom? Let me know, let me know, let me know, let me know. And if let you enjoyed know. this video, make sure to check out that one right there. And when you're done with that, go take a peek at that one right over there. We'll see you next time.